So you think that there could be some union between all the religions as Absolutely. part of Absolutely. We already have union, unity, but everybody's afraid from the terrorists. So this is our job to unify everybody to worship the only true living God uh, in the third temple with all the nations, all the nations that will worship God. Well, I'll ask in English. Do you believe that the Gentiles, the Goyim, will one day become the slaves of the Jews? So I believe it's it's gonna it's part of the Torah. Okay. Not a slave like a slave today. The, we're like a, gonna beat them and then they get, become a slave. They're gonna see how much the Torah it's meaningful. Uh -huh. And they don't want the Jewish person to uh, work. So they say we help you in everything and you learn Torah. It's gonna be. A it's gonna be a, a big big world peace. Okay. So it's not, it's not like and when is this going to happen? It's not, it's not the show today. Mashiach is going to come today. So the Messiah has to come? Of course. Okay, no, for it to happen, yeah. the Messiah has to happen. Yeah, you, you have to explain that. Paul said that Hagar and Ishmael represent those who were born under a covenant at Mount Sinai. And he said, just as then it is now, just as Hagar and Ishmael mocked and persecuted Sarah and Isaac. And remember, Abraham had to put them out. So it is now with the Jews and those who were born or those who are under the covenant of Mount Sinai. They persecute and hate those who believe in Jesus Christ and are free born. And so, as it was in Jesus' day, as it was in Peter and John's preaching, and as it was in the days of Paul, so it is now.